couple of games just to you know get in the uh, get in the spirit of things well before we get into the flow of this game we're going to welcome back Noah Vout once again standing by on the sidelines Noah welcome Three five basketball really exciting season ahead of us here as I talk backing his man down using the left hand no good no foul call McCray with the rebound has got pulled ripped I think he got poked as well he was out and running there is Gumpton up top, the Pharaohs with the ball. You can see head coach Logan Stutz just how engaged Continued he is. here as Deron Scott loses it. No good. A follow up there from Gupton and Logan Stutz not going to be happy. McCray, another lazy pass at the top of the key that was nearly intercepted. For a three from the Pharaohs. Bit of a business decision by Jalen Bland, right? He knows he's not going to throw it down. Get it over to Jeremy Harris. Originally from Los Angeles. Played at Harvard University. Average in the top 10 in assists per game last year for the Sudbury Five and around the National Basketball League of Canada. 3.33 left to go. Foul against the Sudbury Fives. Dexter Williams Jr. and Kyle Gupton will head to the free throw line. Yeah, I thought uh, Dexter was going to grab us to go in the game. 114 to 86. Glad to be with us tonight. We're back at it again tomorrow. At, and we won't be seeing the Pharaohs for the rest of this season. Mohammed with the ball up top for the Sudbury Five. Montel McRae looked like he may have walked, turned over the ball. Gupton ahead on the runway. Hey, sometimes it works out. Beautiful move. Beautiful move there by Dwayne Notice. Floater off glass is good there by Gupton. Uh, Mohammed has come in and he's shown that not out of place at all in this league. Opening win for the five. We'll see if he can pick it up today. Up top for the Pharaohs, Armand Benford, who had a pretty nice game off of the bench for this team. 13 points, and there's a shot good from Kyle Gupton. Whoops. Arun Muhammad, a third straight turnover for the Sudbury Five. And right to the bucket there is Gupton. And quick timeout from Logan Stutz, who's not going to be happy. Be automatic for this five team, like they did last night on so many occasions. Shot good there from Kyle Gupton, and he is off to a good start for the Oakland County Ferals. Arun Muhammad inside to Jerron Scott. He'll throw it way outside over the Whoa. head of Dexter <laughs> Williams Jr. Missed the receiver on that one. Arun Muhammad, nice pass in. Jerron Scott. That's where you kind of just got to stop, bounce, use that size, and go right up. Inside, it's Gupton once again, and another bucket from Kyle Gupton. D. Miller, who can't hit the shot. Dion Rice will bring it up. Gupton left open, and Gupton capitalizes again. Nothing but net there for Gupton. CU, which is you know a good basketball and definitely a great football program average 10.8 points a game as a senior with TCU shot good there there's Gupton back at it it's like that right like the South Carolina Gamecocks teams that just you know don't go with the Huskies or you know the Cardinals or things like that Eagles there are a lot of Eagles out there so the unique name Bland right now doing his part to guide the Sudbury Five to victory. There's a shot from Gupton. That the Five were going to hit 120, but here they are once again, 111 to 100. Jalen Bland leading the way with 30 tonight or this afternoon. Shot good, Gupton. Right off the quick turnaround, and Gupton now up to 22. He's hit six in this game. 
Gupton gets it to Brundage. Brundage has Jeremy Harris on him. Brundage stuck. Gupton will put up the three, and Gupton again. Well, Scott Newman told me earlier, he said, my better players. 119-108, final two and a half minutes to come. Gupton will put up a three. He's going to be fouled, so he led to the free throw line. A little bit easier way to get three. And the five, when you take a look at the physicality of all the NBA for the Sudbury five, yeah. but the thing is, those bumps and bruises add up. Well, in backs, and you see now a lot of players sitting out those back-to-backs, especially veteran players. Seven and seven or seven and ten o'clock. So it's tough, right? 